Morning folks, uh, I haven't done a painting since so, um, when I did it uh, on Saturday for uh, Patreon. I primed this uh, reverse side of a watercolour that I didn't like uh, with a couple of coats of uh, household white emulsion. It's, uh, it's very good. Just make sure I have not any. Uh, little bits on my table behind me, it does get covered with bits and pieces, especially when I cut a toweling, bit of toweling down to make a to make a sort of a, a cloth for wiping my brush. So this I'm using a, a one brush painting, possibly this. Uh, I, 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 I love using these uh, Brushes. This is a hasn't worn out yet. This Pro Art one inch varnish brush, but these these have worn out. But they do lovely things, lovely texture. Now I'm thinking of doing a sort of a watery scene. I'm not sure sure how it's going to work out. I've got a bit of uh, lip, um, what have I got? A bit of fast drying medium in my pot here, my little pot. Uh, I'm going to use a bit of linseed oil as well, just to help it, just to lubricate it a little bit. That's it. So I bought this litre, litre bottle of uh, linseed oil several years ago. Uh, flaxseed oil, raw linseed oil, 100% pure cold pressed. Good stuff. It doesn't discolour, it's, it's almost colourless. Uh, right, uh, cadmium yellow light, uh, uh, burnt sienna, bit of cadmium red, uh, bit of uh, ultramarine, pay, uh, burnt sienna, and a bit of Payne's grey. So we'll start with a bit of a bit of a sky. We'll go with a bit of blue and a bit of white. I think that that, that blue is it. They all got cotton colours. So, I, I, so it keeps it fairly inexpensive. And we just put on a bit of a bit of a sky to start. We just just go for it. But don't stay too long on any one bit of the painting. Just go for them. From one area to the other, just this is sort of trying in a little bit. bit of this, bit of that. Now I've had so much experience with this now that I can gauge the colours. And as we come down to the horizon, we can get. Lighter and lighter. Let's go over that a little bit. And as we come down, we can uh, put in other colours for the sky, cloud. Uh, my clouds are white and uh, a bit of burnt sienna. Plenty of white there. Let's come down to the horizon a bit. Same colours. That's about as low as I want the horizon. Give 
Well, they just fit in. I want the uh, bit of colour in the horizon, but I want to be able to counter change the trees. Wispy. All very simple. Oh, a bit of a bit of blue in there. Just because that the blue with going into the clouds gives us a bit of a shadow underneath the clouds. Dry. Quite fierce through the uh, Pulling the bristles through the uh, toweling. Oh, we're going to go just a little bit there. It's a bit of hard, harder paint, or thicker paint, should I say. Okay, that'll do for that. Now we'll do some. We'll get some trees in the background there. And we'll do something in here, probably a bit of a river. Uh, now, mixing greens. I don't use greens. <clears throat> well, I say I don't. Uh, I uh, mix them with uh, cadmium red, ultramarine, and some of this yellow, cadmium yellow. Or, or if you want to make it darker, just add a bit of Payne's grey. Very, very simple. Uh, so here we go. So that's uh, go the blue, red, yellow. Okay. Got some lovely tints. Red, blue, yellow. Now, because the, pa the paper has got a, a nice tooth on it, you can see that it's leaving some nice air holes for birds to fly through. It's only an impressionist piece of work. I'm aiming for anything... Uh, Literal yeah. and over painted, it's got to be rough. Now I'll, make, I'll build a, a, a bit of a bank on this side here. So that we can have to move this sort of coming around, around here. I'm thinking of a river that I painted often, which is um, the River Parrot down in Somerset. I've only been there a couple of times, but I I, I memorised it by painting it, and so I, I just paint versions of it that they don't exist. Okay, I'll do. Bit of, bit of stuff. So the river will come, come down here. Now we want either light there against dark or dark against light, light against dark. Um, so I'll just have that dark in there, shadow. I can counter change for those that are not familiar with counter change, it's right against dark. Okay, so a nice bit of shadow there. 
a bit of that red shows through and we'll just go up to here so we can mix a bit of white with the yellow Just for the bank, really. A little bit more. Uh, right, okay. It uh, takes quite a time for you to discover your sort of painting language. Don't bother about try to copy someone else's style. Just do what you want to do, and over the course of time, you will you will find your painting language. So that's just a bit of a bit of distance in there. Alright, just get some uh, counter change in here. Now the best thing is I should put a bit of some water. I've got to come, I've got to fill it well with, I'll do this first. I've got to uh, fill in that side as well. And with the fast drying oil and the linseed oil, it will soak in a bit. Uh, we're going to have a bit of stuff here. Okay, I'm not going to change the brush, I'm going to use this one for a hospital appointment this afternoon. So I can't be too long on this. My wife had a, had a morning at the hospital yesterday just checking up on her, her problems. We don't get old, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, right now we've got some, let's get some slightly blue water, sort of reflecting reflecting the sky. Then we can model this as we go. I want to bring this over into here a bit. So, let's have a bit of ochre, a bit of, a bit of this, a bit of that. A nice colour. Just enjoy the process. I wouldn't be surprised if the oil isn't drying into the paper, but it's a uh, it wasn't an artist colour or artist uh, primer. Get the bank in. Bit of grass there. Oh, yeah, that's a shortcut to green with the uh, Payne's grey. There's some lovely range of greens. Right, okay. So, got a bit of light in there. We're, all the time, we're creating an impression. Not a portrait of anything. Probably here. Some friends coming. My wife's got a, some of the church ladies coming around. I'm usually the dumb waiter. Also, we, we 
normally I'd be doing the uh, Wandle River with, with on the bikes with me pals, but it's a lousy morning. It's a drizzly, cold. Oh, this time last year we were barbecuing. Can you imagine? Now I like my greens like that. Let's get this nice and dark. Just take that down, down a bit. Okay, let's we'll just go on to this bit now. Don't don't stay on one one bit all the time. Just get your just just uh, vary the colours. No, just just go for it. Remember, you can change it any time you like. There we go. Really good light on there. Use five colours. When I was painting Venice, I achieved paint Venice painting for a gallery in 1999. I would use a, I'd use more colours, but and I'd use cerulean in the sky, probably mixed with a bit of cobalt. <coughs> well, that was about it, really. I, I, I do like making making my greens. With uh, without using using a, a prepared pigment. Uh, we want a bit of, let's have a bit of Payne's grey and a bit of burnt sienna. Sort of a, a bit of green. Could put a bit of texture in. We don't call it detail. We call it texture. But painting uh, with oil is my favourite. I think the first painting I ever did was uh, was, was watercolour, like most of us. We start with watercolour, especially in this self-taught, as we are. Um, but then I thought, well, I'll have a go. At, uh, oils. I bought some oils, didn't know what ones I was buying, I didn't know what the colours were, or the names of the colours. But um, I, I copied something from a calendar, it could have been a more difficult subject, it's a, a water mill in a snow sea. But I, I, I don't know where it is, but uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it, I was proud of it. Well, we had a friend who was quite a good artist, or uh, self taught, but uh, but uh, we we'd moved to our first house and we hadn't done too much decorating at the time. Um, And we, we we made some canvases and we stretched them. We made some uh, just a, some slats of wood, really. And we pinned them to the undecorated wall in our, what was to be our bedroom. And we painted, including my wife, the three of us. We, our subject was let's have tie a bit of cloth uh, a uh, lighthouse. <laughs> My wife was the best one. It was it was great fun, um, but I still went back to the watercolour. And it was years later that I tried acrylics. I didn't really like them, but I like them now. Oh, just a bit of colour. We need to make this side a little bit bigger. You don't want symmetry. You don't want to do the same, repeat yourself on the other side. Try and make it different. Mm. 
the tooth on the paper is uh, doing a great thing here. So that's better. But I want to get more of this, this colour in that side. So here we go. Let's, 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 let's mix the colours. I'll put a bit of dark in. turning up now, they can make their own tea. I'll show them this when I've finished. Don't hide your light under a bushel, as they say. Here. We're going to need to fill it in there a bit. Need some more blue. I've got another tube of blue. Um, I buy where I can the 200 mil tubes of uh, either Taylor Rowney or Winsor Newton. Best way to buy it is because it's cheaper. Okay, let's start tying it up. So I was using black, you can use black. Black and paint's great, but you, you just have to mix it differently. Uh, and we want we want some texture in there, some bright some bright in there. So let's get some of that here. Bit of yellow, bit of white. Just so it stands out against the dark. Oh, that glorious. Now I want some dark greens in there, so we'll mix a bit of, bit of that. Paint's playing yellow. And, oops. Just, just adding some, some interest. It doesn't have to mean anything other than what the viewer makes of it. Oh. I do tend to use the largest brush I can get away with. I'm going to do that water in a minute. Clean, clean, clean. There's a bit of a line going through there. Let's just do something about that. Ah, oh, more or less. Right. The water is colourless, isn't it? It just reflects what's, what's around it. Touch of that blue. Bring the strokes down. That dryer is really doing its job here. Blue 
in the bottom here, a bit more. Do you know my palette? Bit of MDF. Okay, let's uh, do these banks a bit better now. Still not reflecting the sky very accurately. Ah, oh, that's a bit better. I have the skill to to do more than I than I do. There are some great painters out there. This is the uh, Danish painter, what she calls herself. Uh, Marie Louise. It's sort of abstract, it's very inspirational. If you want to, to, to paint abstract but have a, a handle on realism as well. Let's go down there, let's go up in there. Just had a bit of interest, a bit of, a bit of that, a bit of white. Paint's drying now. Now these strokes don't mean anything other than what you, the viewer, wants to see. And I think what I learned years ago was don't let the picture do all the talking. Leave a lot of it out. Keep it unfinished. Right, just do a little bit, bit of dark in there. Oh, see, that just gives that bit of a reflection. This is sort of a dark green. Let's pull that down. Pull some of that down. So we've got a shadow. Uh, there's a bit of light, more light now in, in that bit of water. I'm not going to do too much more than this. the wrong colour. So let's go back to that darker green. And then just get a bit of sparkle. I 
something like that. Let's bridge it out. And just that little bit of that blue. Just get down there. A little bit more, more texture in here just to get those banks sorted out. Okay, I'm not going to do any more than that. I'll see if I can find a mount for it. I'll just move this out of the way. To do it without just about fit. Uh, it's a bit the, the aperture is a bit bigger than than uh, once it's a 16 by 12 mount, it's getting a bit uh, dirty there. But there we are, there's a nice little scene for you to be getting, getting, getting on with. Uh, just one brush, one large br inch brush. Did a lot. Okay, well I hope you like that folks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. I'll just just come out of that a little bit. There we are. So there we are, a river, the river parrot, or any old river that you like. No no rigor. Just in, you could just put the pieces together. Having said that, I'll see you see you tomorrow. Bye bye.